What is up guys, Alex and welcome back. And today I'm going to be bringing you my reaction to uh, the newest Wonder Woman trailer. This is going to be her or official origin trailer, which I'm assuming we get her origin story in this one. I have no clue, which I, which in the first place I don't think you can even do, maybe, but not in the, in the pace to where if you're not a comic book fan, you won't know what the hell is going on. And if you are, you you do know what's going on. I myself, although I don't read comics, I, I am a, still, I think you would still classify me as a comic book fan. Uh, like I said in my first Wonder Woman uh, trailer reaction, uh, she has two origins, so far as I know. The first one is she was born from clay and well her mo her mother sculpted her from clay and Zeus brought her to life. That's the origin that they're giving us in this one. They said that back in the first trailer. Uh, the other origin uh, that I know which again I mentioned this in my first Wonder Woman uh, trailer reaction is that in the Justice League uh, TV show in the late 90s early 2000s. Uh, her mother actually had a thing with Ares, the god of war, and she's actually the daughter of Ares. I don't know if that's just in the TV show or if some of the comics explored that. But yeah, so far as I know, those are the only two origins that I know of Wonder Woman. And like I said, they're going with uh, being born from clay and getting st struck by Zeus or Zeus giving her life, whatever. So we're probably gonna get a little more detail in this one. Maybe, like I said, it's an origin trail. I've never heard of something like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna shut up and start the video. So without any further ado, let's get into this. Is that the sword? Yeah. It's beautiful. The last one. Really? Only the fiercest among us even could. And that is not you, Diana. Oh, so it's just a sword. You will train her harder than any Amazon before her. Five times harder. Ten oh. times harder. Never let your guard down. You expect the battle to be fair! I know she is better than even you. Oh, fuck. But she must never know the truth about what she is. Oh, shit. So she low-key might be the daughter of Ares. Either that or she's half human. Oh, shit. What is this place for? Well, human in the sense she's not Amazon, like pure Amazonian. Whoever you are, you are in more danger than you think. Be careful, Diana. If no one else will defend the world, then I must. Welcome to Jolly Old London. It's hideous. Yeah, it's not for everybody. It gets better. Step back. Or maybe not. I mean... What are you? I am Diana of Themyscira, daughter of Hippolyta. In the name of all that is good, your wrath upon this world is over. <laughs> Alright, so they're still keeping some of the comedy, which is nice. A little mixture of, uh, oh, oh, hold on. 
a little mixture of like dark scenes mixed in with light scenes and by that I mean like uh, the tone or the atmosphere sometimes it's like really dark and gritty and sometimes it's just vivid and vibrant or I think those are the same words I might be fucking up I don't care uh, but yeah her mother said she must not discover her origins which if she is if she was born of uh, clay which she already knows that she was she wouldn't have a problem with that unless she was born from uh, Hades of course that would be a problem and like I said she she also like her mother might have got it on with a regular uh, a regular person because Amazonians live for like a fuck ton of years I don't know exactly what the number is but I know they live long so her daddy or her dad <laughs> <laughs> her dad might just be a regular dude that died off like who knows how long ago and if it's not a regular uh, person uh, then it's definitely uh, Aries there's there's really nothing else that it could be unless they throw in another god but I don't really see that happening uh, as for the visuals like I touched on a little bit earlier they look good the cinema cinematography fuck I cannot say big words sometimes uh, it all looks good. Uh, I really didn't uh, see anything wrong with the CGI or anything. I think it looks moderately accurate. Accurate. <laughs> accurate. F fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, for that time zone. And I I've, I've got it. World War Two, right? Or was it World War One? I? I can't remember. I think it was World War Two. No, it was one. It was one. Yeah, it was one. Uh, fuck, I lost my. Yeah, for for the setting, uh, for World War One, yeah, the shit looks pretty accurate because everything back then was pretty shitty looking. Even in America, it was pretty shitty looking. Then uh, a couple of battle scenes. She flips a fucking hung V or whatever the fuck that was. But yeah, it's looking good, guys. It's looking really good. I'm I'm getting my hopes up for this. Uh, more than I did for Suicide Squad. <laughs> uh, for me personally, uh, fuck. I don't want to get in this into this. If you guys want me to touch upon the animated uh, Justice League movies, let me know and I will. Cause I have. My really, really, I have my own thoughts on that basically, and I know a lot of people shit on them, but that's mostly for the pure-hearted comic book fans that actually read it. Like I said, I don't read it, so I know that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna get into this right now because I would make the video way too long. Uh, I'm just I'm 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 stopping I'm I'm stopping it. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, guys, if you want to check this video out for yourself, uh, and share it with your friends, link to it will be down in the description. So be sure to check it out, guys. As always, post your thoughts and comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought. I liked the video if you did. And as always, if you want to see more reactions or previous reactions, hit that subscribe button to see more. Peace.